In entering we find the influences in the astrological and in the environmental quite different. While there are periods when the astrological and the environmental of Earth or planetary sojourn do coordinate in the effects created, in the impulses for activities of the entity in the present experience, in most we find them at an at variance. In entering the present experience from the astrological viewpoint, we find the entity, from sojourns rather than from position of planet, or of the astrological aspects, coming under the influences of Mercury, Jupiter, with an affliction in same, Venus and Uranus. As we find, these may be said to come in the order named. While the will of an entity, and of this, may alter, modify or change such influences, the influence of such astrological experience makes for impulses, and often changes the actual environs of an entity, through periods when these, as sojourns, are in their position where they influence either for weal or woe. Such an influence may be seen or recognized in the experience of the entity, that is now just passing, and that has for the last 18 months to 2 years been as an influence, that will change materially in the late spring and summer of the present year. Then, in considering the entity from the astrological viewpoint, from its advent into the present experience, the influences from the purely astrological, or the position of the planets, or even those called the varied experiences in the astrological influences, these would be quite different, the actual experience, from that termed from the position of planets, or in the varied constellations. But, from the sojourns in the planetary influences, are rather true to the experience of the entity in the present Earth's plane. However, as we find, in or near the next birth date there will come definite and decisive changes in the experience of the entity, for both Jupiter and Uranus, that are in a beneficent influence with Mercury, the ruling influence in the entity's experience, will in May, and near the third, be in the house or in the angle where the influences will be for the abilities of the entity through its experiences in the present, and throughout the eons, the entity's influence, to be at that point or angle where definite, decisive changes are imminent, and may be made for the better development of the entity through the remaining experience in the present sojourn. Hence we find the ruling influences in the entity's experience from astrological sojourn, rather than those of other astronomical influence, get the difference, in Mercury, Jupiter, Uranus, afflicted in Venus, and these become, then, beneficent influences in those periods given. Also, as indicated from the name, the period, the time of advent, Mars, with Saturn, passes from the influence in the entity's present experience. Hence it would be well, if the environs are changed, to change the name, or use only May as the name. As to the influences then from these sojourns, and their influence in the experience of the entity in the present, as well as the sojourns in the earth that produce the environmental influence in the entity's experience. In entering the present experience from the astrological phases, we would find that ordinarily given in such relationships would carry a great deal of varying conditions. Ordinarily the entity or body would be termed one having many varying experiences, yet arriving, in some portions of the experience or development, at some very satisfactory periods of an experience. As we find here, from the records that have been builded by the entity so named in the present, the sojourns in the environs that have been builded through the varied experiences, and the sojourns in that called hereditary influence in passing through Earth's experience, may account to one much more than that termed from the purely astrological influence. Hence we find from sojourns in the varied environs, that Venus with Jupiter, Mercury, and Uranus are the varying influences, with some of those influences in Saturn and Mars as a detrimental or retarding influence. It would be well for such a student as the entity to study that term the retarding influence by afflictions in certain influences, as to how they affect an entity in a given sojourn. When there is an experience as with this entity, in that influence of Jupiter, and the sojourn from that influence is in Mars before returning through the Earth's sojourn, save as a transition, it is then an adverse, or a pulling, or the tendency, when these influences are in those positions in the experience of the entity, to be influencing in opposite directions, see? In entering we find from the astrological that not near so much may be taken as being helpful in the present, as may be had from the appearances in the earth and that the entity accomplished or lost through those experiences. For, while there are the astral or planetary influences, so many of the earth's experiences, and they are many, influence the entity in the present. Hence, from the purely astrological we may say there is more of the innate urge, while those sojourns in the earth for this entity make more for the impulse and intuitive influences in the entity. For the entity could, or might, through study, or allowing self to be governed more by intuition, 
become a real CRS in the application of laws that pertain to occult or psychic influences, as from the material applications in this experience. From the astrological, however, we find those ruling influences of Jupiter, with Uranus, and Neptune. These make, as innate urges, the attraction to, and the use of, many of the broader visions as to material conditions, as in associations in material things and in the abilities in many of the fields of art in its better or broader sense, as well as an innate influence towards things pertaining to the mystic and the occult. To this particular entity, the mystic or the hidden life is of the greater interest, and there is often seen and experienced by the intuitive influence of the body those experiences that to others, whom the entity even expresses self to, are not understood or comprehended, and these become confusing at times, even to the entity. As we find, these may be the better acquired, the better obtained, the better understood even by self, were they obtained in the manner as of automatic writing. Best that this be done, of course, alone, and in the small hours of the morning, or in the early twilight, always in shadows. In entering the present experience from an astrological view, Many of the impulses we find influenced by the sojourn of the entity in varied experiences of the astrological spheres, and the influences of these are rather the impulse, while the influences of the Earth's sojourn and the experiences in same are rather the manifestations in activity. Hence we have the combined influence in an entity's experience, which becomes rather the basic influence from heredity and environ, or the same first law is of cause and effect in the experience of an entity. The hereditary influence from the purely material, or from a nationalism influence, is apparent in each entity, but has there been sought much concerning why an entity seeks a manifestation through such hereditary influence? Has not this been rather the basic force through the activities of the entity in its passage through the varied spheres of experience? Hence becomes more definite influence. As to what an entity does concerning its environs or hereditary influence from the material viewpoint, this is governed by the action of the will, that active principle making for the individuality of an entity from those atomic forces that may manifest in a material plane or in any sphere of material or matter existence. Thus is man endowed with the individual soul. Hence the will is an attribute of the soul, and the whole development of an entity. An entity, then, is the composite activity throughout the experience in every phase of its independent existence from the first cause, or creative influence. As to the astrological aspects for this entity, now called Alexander 274, the ruling influences are in Mercury, Jupiter, Mars, and Saturn. In entering from the astrological viewpoints, we will find many of the influences coincide with those conditions that are represented as personalities in the activity of the present entity, as well as many of the influences from the appearances and the activity of the entity then acting in the individuality. These, as seen, are in reverse order, as they were in the present activity or activating forces in the experience of the entity. Hence, oft do we find those experiences when there is an understanding within the entity that to others becomes very much adverse to the normal influences or reactions that might be expected. Hence the body is called strange, or much adverse to the normal reactions from the influences that are in the experience of the entity and of others. Or, sometimes others would say the entity was very strange, very abnormal, when to the entity the activities would be the most normal, and more reason in self for the activities than from many an ordinary individual. Then, we find the influences come under Neptune, Mars, Saturn, yet the benevolent influences in Jupiter, which make these tendencies. In entering from the astrological aspects, we find that these, from the ordinary term, run rather smoothly at times, and at others at a great cross angle of same. Then, these would be better understood were the influences considered from the standpoint of urges from the experiences of the entity in the environs, than were they considered wholly from the position of the planet of the activities of an astrological influence only. For, as may be determined by one of high mental abilities, even as this entity, in the present, those influencing us most are the things we entertain with our mental bodies or have thrust upon us from the needs or requirements of the physical attributes of our bodies. Hence, a sojourn is an environment that, when in the aspect of influencing an active mental body, is being entertained by the body. Hence the will of an entity is that attribute making for abilities to develop in every phase of experience, to be one with the creative forces from which every entity emerges in its beginning. If the will has been used in those aspects that are for self-indulgence, self-gratification alone, then it has built it away from the expressing or manifesting of that love which brought the soul, in its inception, into being. Not that any soul is not to live its own experience, and be that portion of the whole that is the developing of the soul. 
not to be lost wholly in the oneness of the Father, but with the abilities to know self to be one with, yet of, the Father. Then, as to that seen from those influences. In entering in the astrological aspects, we find those influences making for the activities in the latent experiences of the entity, and urges at times, first from the Sun, then Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Uranus. Then, these influences we find in the personality of the entity. In entering, under the astrological influences we find the Moon and the Sun, as well as planetary sojourns, affecting the physical as well as the mental and soul being. These are one when viewed or considered in this material plane, yet, when analyzed, that we may better understand or comprehend, may well be compared to a formula that may act upon the physical attributes of a body. Alone there may be an influence, an activity, but combined there may be wielded a greater influence upon all phases of the experience of the entity. Hence we find these influences often misconstrued by those who do not take into consideration the will of an entity, the tenets that may be the impelling influence in the mental being, or that influence which is exerted upon an entity from without itself as it is allowed, or allows self, to be led or guided by such impulses. With this particular body, in the present, and those influences that are manifested in the material, mental and spiritual affairs of the entity, there is offered an unusual illustration of these truths that have been presented here. So, in the study, analysis, and understanding that may be given or gained from that which is presented, know that this is being given from the actual records that have been written by the activities of the entity through its sojourn in that which may be justly termed reality, a separate entity from the first cause or impulse. And the varied experiences are in the form of matter, mind, and spirit, for, as given, the separations must be considered if there would be the more perfect understanding. As it has been often presented by one school of thought, the dwellers upon the moon, the satellite of the earth, preceded the abilities for matter, expressed in a form that is known as matter in the earth. And this entity was among those that so dwelt, and is influenced by two sojourns there. Hence there have ever been in the experience of the entity periods that are governed by the influence of not only the satellites drawing upon the earth and the elements of same but of the mental, in such a manner as to make for physical as well as mental and material changes in the affairs of the entity, when the mental being of the entity allows the influence to dominate rather than dominating the influence. Also as a sojourner in the environ elemental as well as material, the sun's activity on the mental has wielded and does wield a powerful influence in the affairs, the activities, the thoughts of the entity. As may be illustrated. On dark days with little sunshine there is an appreciable manifestation of fear and dread. And especially does this occur when the moon by its position is on the opposite side of the orb or earth. As to this influence also, if the entity uses the will in reference to such influences in a spiritual sense, much alteration arises. Naturally, the question would be, how, when, in what manner, may an entity use such influences to make for a betterment of those that tend to bring an air or a feeling of oppression upon the mental being. Realizing, then, that there is an influence from without self of a nature that self may be in accord with or in opposition to, for all entities realize they in themselves are both positive and negative influences, and that the first cause, or the spirit, must of necessity within itself be likewise, yet more positive than negative, for it attracts with attraction and repels with rebellion of that same activity of which every entity is a part. See 264-45, PAR 15A, 16A, in Reher Aversion to Flowers and Animals. Hence the realizing of self's dependence upon that influence is that which makes for the change in the experience of the entity, in becoming conscious, through the mental spiritual forces in self, of the willingness to be led rather than leading or demanding other than, thy will be done in me, use me in that channel thou, O God, would have me be led. As to the influences then from the astrological sojourn, these become for an entity, as we have given, as the hereditary influences of the mental being, or impulses, while the material sojourns become as the environmental influences in the mental being. This entity, as we have given, is swayed more by those two greater lights in the experience, both as to hereditary and environmental, from the astrological viewpoint, than most individuals. Why? because of that influence which has just been given. Hence there is an appreciable influence in the ability of the mental body to become analytical in its every aspect, towards every character of influence in an individual's experience, rather than mystical or that which may be termed as rote or formula. For, in its essence, the entity's being is analytical in itself. From the astrological and planetary sojourn, then, we find as these, for this dissertation might be carried on into infinitum,
as to the planetary influences related to the earth and the earth's sojourns of the entity, yet within the earth and the dealings with the material things is there that which the entity has to cope with in the now. Yet now is the beginning and the end, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Uranus, these influencing from the very environ of that which is manifested in their atmosphere, if such a term may be used, for Mercury means mental, as does Venus love, understanding, beauty, and the like, as does Jupiter strength, stamen, broadness of vision, temperamental, and these all are from those experiences of the entity in its sojourn through these environs. In entering, we find the astrological influences, as would be ordinarily considered, of little or no advantage in outlining developments for the entity, though they may give general characteristics in some directions of the present entity, as indicated or intimated through the influence of one under this peculiar phase of the astrological sign of that period of the year, showing one of genial, jovial nature, and, while not considered lazy, would be considered as one that would never hurt self in its overindulgence in activity of a menial nature. These characteristics, however, when analyzed from the greater influence through the planetary sojourn, as well as from the environment through the appearances in the earth, and their impulsive reactions in the makeup of both the individuality and personality of the entity, while coinciding in some directions would be very much in at variance in others. Then, as we find under astrological sojourns and their influence upon the entity's activity in the present experience, as well as upon the entity in its relationships to individuals of certain temperaments or activity. In Venus, Jupiter, Mercury, and Uranus do we find the greater activities in the experience of the entity, making, without respect to will, these innate and manifested traits in the entity in the present experience. In entering, we shall see that this name has been and is indicated in the entity's development, and the entity's appearance in the Earth's plane in the present, for many shall be those influenced by the activities of the entity's sojourn through this experience. Coming under those influences at the period of both those astrological influences that are having to do with the extremities of the body, there will be seen that many variations exist as compared with the planetary sojourn. And, if there will be drawn the closer activities through the astrological influences, it will be seen that these would vary a great deal through interpretations of this varying experience for the entity. In entering the Earth's experience in the present from the astrological viewpoint, we find the sojourns of the entity in the planetary influences with those of Earth's experience influencing the present innate and manifested abilities of the entity, rather than mere position of the planets, or houses, or the varied astrological aspects. While, as indicated to the entity often, phases of the sun or moon are as impulses in the experience through certain periods of the present sojourn. Or, when those planets that exercise the greater influence in the present experience are in those ruling phases of the moon and sun, those impulses that arise from sojourns there are exhibited in the experience of the entity. Then, in giving the planetary influences from sojourns, we find these are irrespective of the will. While those influences plus those activities in the various earth experiences are rather wills influence plus the planetary influence or activity. Hence we have an entity in the present, or an individual, that to many is often considered rather the dreamer, and one visionary rather than too practical. The ruling astrological influence, then, is in Mercury, for the high mental abilities of the entity, plus those influences from Jupiter, make the ability for expression, and the wider scope or vision, in material, practical and mental experiences or visions, than is ordinarily experienced by those that come under the influence of the latter portion of a July birth. In entering, we find, from the astrological view, or from the astrological aspects, that the entity's experience in the present has not run in line with much that would be indicated in the purely astrological, while that which the entity has accomplished in the present experience has been a development from the experiences in the earth. Yet there are those impulses that are indicated in the general mean, or manner of the entity. As in Mercury, not only from the astrological influence by indwelling but from that of the more universal aspect in the signs under which the entity was in the aspect of at birth, for these are mixed, see. Then, we find these rather inclining to the period or aspect that was just passed in the entity's experience, in the astrological sphere, making for one very neat, very particular, very apt at figures, and the entity would have done well as a banker. In the more specific aspects from the sojourns in planetary influences and from the Earth's appearances, there will be given, then, those influences both innate and manifested in the personality in the present experience.
In entering this present experience, from the astrological aspect we would find, as compared to the experiences and that present in the entity's manifested abilities in the present, not a great deal that would be true in form to that ordinarily termed astrological views or readings. Yet, some of those generalities that may be applied to those born in this phase of the Earth's position in the universe would apply well in the abilities of the entity, in the mentality of the entity, in the dynasty of the entity, and the positiveness of the entity. These tendencies, though, are more from the astrological sojourn, or the environs in the planetary experience of the entity, as we shall see. In entering, from the astrological aspects we find these in some respects coordinating with the tendencies that are latent in the individuality of the entity, some we find, from their positions, being in at variance with that which would ordinarily be given. Yet, in the developments in the present experience, we will find that planetary sojourns, and that which the entity in the present does with that in the abilities mentally of self is respecting that he holds as an ideal, will either make or retard the development of the soul through this experience. As we see, those that came into the Earth's sojourn through those periods that were covered from 1910 to 1911, according to the activity from the astrological position and the effect upon the inhabitants of Earth through that period, are those that must bear the brunt of accusing peoples because of a susceptibility to the influences of those forces that had, or do have, that activity in the affairs of those under that planetary influence. Hence there may be the greater warning to all under that period of entering, that they, of most peoples, through their experience, must be mindful of what they do with their ideals. These are those who, from the astrological viewpoint and from innate individualities, are quick-tempered, not meaning, no, but self is aroused to passion without notice, requiring then that there be the curbing within self of those impulses for action without due thought. As to the personality influence from sojourn in the planetary influences, for this entity 329 called in the present. In entering, from the astrological aspects we find much, were it taken from the ordinary record, or that called the Persian and Chaldean record, that would be confusing, to understand the astrological aspects and the experiences through which the entity has passed in the present, for these would make general indication that the body in the present would be a power in some political ring, or some political influence. And this might be made possible, yet the entity's activities in the Earth's experiences and in the present have been such as to alter, or to bring, as may be termed, the influences from indwelling Earth's sojourn of greater influence than that viewed from the purely astrological influence. Hence that given through these channels, this aside, as to how a life reading, or life information, may be made more beneficial in the present experience of an entity than that of purely astrological information, unless followed very closely day by day, and then, for such an entity, the astrological tendencies would rule the entity, rather than the entity ruling its destiny. Then, we will find these influences from the astrological viewpoint more as impulses, and the greater ruling influence in both the personality and individuality of the entity, now known as 333, from the Earth's sojourns. The impulses, then, we find from those sojourns in Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, Uranus, coming in the order given, but rather at purposes, or even cross-purposes, influencing at times as to make for rather that, which may be said to be, called the temperament of the mental body, than the willed experiences or influences in the present activities of the entity in the Earth's plane. In entering the present experience, we would find from the astrological aspects those influences that do not altogether conform to what is ordinarily given from an astrological presentation, while those that have to do with the astrological as to the numerological would conform more to the impulses of the body, or entity, in the present experience. From the astrological viewpoint we would find indications that there would be required business activities about the body, with little conformity to rule or rote, yet from the numerological we find, as shown or manifested in the experience, one precise, one following minute detail, one that expects definite results from definite activities on the part of individuals, groups, and relations, yet these conflicting emotions make for periods where individuals have attempted, from their associations and connections, to insist that the body engage rather in a sphere of activity towards a career of self, than in so much the routine or home. Hence we find these influences as active in the affairs of the entity. From the planetary or environmental sojourns of the entity, other than in Earth, we find these run rather true to form with planetary influence, than that given in some directions from astrological data. This entity comes among those periods in the astrological positions, as we have given, 
that govern the relationships of those entering the Earth's plane who come from the Atlantean influences, and who come in those periods when their aspects, with those influences in Uranus, make them individuals upon whom much responsibility will rest, and upon whom the thought and the activities of this generation must depend. And the activities will be dependent upon the will of the entity, and the application in its experience of that it knows is relating to the universal influence or law, or love, in the Earth's plane, in this experience. Hence there will be little or no middle ground, for there will be either the very successful life or experience, from what has been set, and is set, as the ideal, or there will be just the opposite. Hence, as we find from the astrological aspect, these are the ruling influences innate and expressed in this entity's experience, for, while those of this sojourn in one portion of this period, or of 1910, would be very exceptional in one direction, the tendencies of the other in the early portions, or coming under those two influences of Pisces with Leo, make for that, with Aries in the activity, very determined quality, as some would call it, yet, as indicated from the astrological sojourn. In Uranus, although being of that nature, is one tempered with justice, while not wholly an extremist from self's own angle, yet an extremist from the viewpoints of many that are of older or much younger years. In entering, we find the astrological influences that are innate, or the inhibitions of the entity, and in those from the appearances, or experiences through the earth, have those been somewhat opposed one to another. Hence there would be, only from an astrological aspect, some very varying presentations, yet their influence being inhibitions, and the entity's development rather of the intuitive influences, a great deal must be considered for the information given to be of a value to the entity in the present experience. Coming in the present experience, then, from those influences in the combination of Jupiter and Uranus, there are rather the exceptional abilities for the entity to retain in self that which may be called knowledge, or learning, or that which may be termed the ability to correlate experiences of others in such a manner as to make them valuable to self. In entering, there are conditions that at times appear to coincide with those that may be presented from the astrological interpretation, yet there are others that conform more to those from the numerological interpretation, still others that are builded, and interpretations from the spiritualistic viewpoint give a better interpretation. In the astrological aspects, then, we have these rather as innate urges for the entity. Coming in that period when there are many changes from the purely superficial aspect of the astrological spheres, yet the sojourns in various environs bring innate urges that, unusually, find the way of interpreting themselves in the experience of the entity, from or through the entity's own development in the mental plane. Mind considered there, then, is the builder, and is the interpretation of an entity's activity toward creative forces, in its varied experiences through a material plane. It would be quite well to get the difference between that mental aspect of a body from the plane of the various aspects that we have about this planetary sojourn, this referring to the mental in a physical or Earth's plane, for this is what we are dealing with, of course, when we are in the Earth. Then, these are the impulses made in this entity, 353. In entering the present experience, as would be indicated in numbers, numerology would make also for definite influences in the experience of the entity. Threes, their multiples, are those which are of the greater influence in the experience. Hence in the third day, third hour, third week, third year, may there be seen the greater changes in the activities of the entity in any endeavor, whether pertaining to the mental, the material, or the spiritual aspects of relationships that the entity may bear with others, or in the activity with things. As to the astrological influences, we find the sojourns of the entity bearing greater upon the experiences in the present from a mental development, while, which is unusual, in some cases the sojourns have more to do with that the entity may experience in its activities in the Earth's plane. Hence the entity, we find, is one well divided in its interests, and one that may be termed, from the material standpoint, as a good business body, capable of separating that which is of the commercial nature from the activities in that other than duty, or that of sentiment as related to business would not bear a great part in the experience of the entity, yet often has the entity in its experience found that the attempts to make for those relationships in this direction have a part, but this has been, and is, and will remain, more of a rebellious sentiment in the experience of the entity. From the astrological sojourns, then, we find these bearing upon the present experience. In entering the present experience, the astrological influences are rather the experiences of sojourns of the entity, hence are innate and manifested in a greater or less degree, dependent upon the activity of the will of the present entity, this referring to the present experience. Then, 
Do not let those conditions that are innate and manifested in a degree become confusing to self, in making application of that which may be given for benefit to the entity in the present experience. Coming under the influence in Venus, with Jupiter in the positions that the entity occupied in these environs, the entity is one inclined or tending to be shy, petite, rather recluse. While the entity is aware of many conditions that are felt in self, there is a reserve, or has been through the experience, that has kept the entity from giving expression to that which is known, and the entity has had those experiences oft when there were the urges within self to act, from those things the entity contacted, from these individuals the entity contacted, and had the entity acted upon the impulse, as it has found, a great deal of change would have been in the experience. Hence questions that have arisen oft in the mental application of the entity's experiences, as to whether there is an impelling influence from without self that controls the mental and active forces of self, or whether it is lack of stamina or judgment in self as to the activities. These may be found to be contributory conditions in the experience, whether related to the material or mental, whether related to the material things of life or to the mental attitudes that the body has assumed towards conditions, as to relationships with individuals, groups, or tenets that have been in the experience of the entity. As the entity should understand, there is an influence, yet, as to an entity's application of self, it is as to what the entity, the will, the soul, does about what it knows or feels, that makes for weal or woe. Hence, when self is guided by an ideal that is set, as to its mental relationships, as to things, conditions, and individuals, the results are the builded influences, hence have their application in the experience of every entity in its journey through the material or earth experience. In this application also does there come off to the entity, and to many another under such experiences, or such environs, much intent and purpose, or study, towards that relating to what may be termed karma, or the destiny set, and what an entity may do. What may an entity do? There is set before thee two ways, ever, and the choice is given to a soul as to whether it, the soul, chooses that in keeping with the ideals set in creative influences, or God, making the will one with, not blaming him with that which comes to self, but self, as to what has been builded, and what self does about his love, law, and experience, in every relation. From those influences also in Jupiter we find the individual application respecting those influences in individual experiences. Hence all those forces that may be termed of the environmental, as astrological, numerological, the aura, color, vibration, etc., are a portion of the entity's experience, and at times becomes confusing to the entity, as to whether these influence the experiences, or the experiences influence these in the activity of the entity. It will be found that all have their place, for, as we have given, every force, in its manifestation, is from the One, or God. And that which is manifested in material things is a result, and not the motive force, for mind, mental, which may not be seen with the eye as termed in the material world, but with the spiritual eye, is the builder. In this relation, too, the entity will find that in self these influences as related to material conditions may be made a portion of the entity's experience, in aiding others to analyze themselves. For, First one must know self, and that it as a soul desires to do about that it has attained in the mental world. This is making an ideal. Is this to be used, then, for self-indulgence, for self-aggrandizement, for self-slaudation, or is it to be used that the power of the universe, the love of the creative force, may be made manifest the more in the experience of self and in the experiences of those whom the entity contacts? He went about doing good with the knowledge he had in a material world, evil spoken of, yes, but for this purpose came he. And self will find that in the application of the laws of love, of environ, of experience, of all the forces that maintain their activity in the material world as expressions of a mental influence from a creative force, or energy, all are of his bidding, and to be used as he would have. Hence, ever should the meditation of the entity be. Open thou mine eyes, O Father, to the glories thou would shed upon the sons of men. Let me, in my weakness, be a channel, an aid, a help, to an erring one. In entering the present experiences, we have many an influence that has to do with the entity's experience at this time in the earthly environ, for, as the entity has experienced in the present, there has been many a longing innately, of the mental experiences of the entity, in spheres that have at times been very near to a comprehension, at others very elusive, and in a manner not comprehensible. Viewed from the purely astrological influences, by those who give thought in this direction,
Too much accrediting of that which has been set by even those of old would only give a complementary idea of the purposes, or why the experiences of the entity were not deferred for the present experience, or why there was not a different environment in which the entity's experiences met self, in this mental analysis of self's innate or soul development. Yet these influences from sojourns, rather than from astrological positions, will be, as we find, helpful in the entity's contemplation and study of the subject, astrology, as related to an entity's development through an Earth's experience. In considering those things in relation to the universe and universal forces, that may be applicable in the entity's experience in the present, it will be well that those influences dealing with the astrological as well as the appearances or experiences in the Earth plane, that affect or influence the entity in the present, be considered. While the astrological conditions may, as the body-mind develops, influence the entity, in the present they only have a minor influence, while the sojourns or Earth's experiences influence the activities greatly. Hence we will find that to many it will appear that the entity's experience in the Earth's plane in the present is that of fate, or that conditions, or what not, have been kind to the entity, that the ways or the opportunities that are the entities in the present are much easier, that every condition seems to consider the entity, rather than the entity considering others. As to whether there will come contentment in a development of the entity in the experiences, as the mental and physical body advances, will depend upon what the entity does with these experiences or opportunities. These conditions, as we find, are quite unusual then to many an experience that has been given for those through such channels of information, for the body mentally is unusual in many ways, and the personality of the entity, from its former experiences, is rather impelling upon the influence or activity of others. Hence much has been given the entity in its experience that may be rightly termed the opportunity for the use of the better influences, or those that have their foundation in the spiritual and higher mental developments of the entity. Then, as given, we find the astrological influences rather secondary, yet, as seen, these may influence in the advancing, or as conditions or experiences advance in this particular period. In entering the present experience, we find from the astrological aspect much that bears upon the mental experiences of the entity in the present, and much in the experiences that influence and have a bearing upon the experiences in the Earth's plane. Then, without respect to that which the entity in the present has done about the Earth's plane influence, we find these as the mental affinities of the entity. In entering the present experiences, and viewing the entity's development in the present, also the developments and retardments in the varied experiences of the entity in the Earth's plane, we find there are influences both from the astrological aspects, through sojourns in planes that were merited or chosen by the activities of the entity, and from the activities in the Earth's sojourn. These make for that which may be called the manifested personality in the present, though, to be sure, the innate influences and developments that may come in the present experience are also indicated from astrological aspects and sojourns. Hence, without the influence of will, from the astrological aspects we find these. For these are records as every entity makes in its passage through the earth, and that are reflected in the entity at the birth from experiences in other spheres or planes, hence they may be read from here. In entering, we find, from the astrological sojourns in the earth's planetary environment, or this solar system's indwelling, these innate and manifested individualities of the entity. Yes, we have the entity here and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personalities of the present entity, 365. Great deal of development for this body in this experience, certainly made a very good looking woman for what she started with. In entering the present experience from the astrological influences, we find these have somewhat to do with the urges innate and that are manifested in the personality of the present entity. As we find, sojourns have a great deal more to do with how an entity is influenced in any given or particular experience than the mere position of a planet or the sun or moon, yet these influences are seen, or those that are psychically endowed or gifted, or in whom there has been a development of such abilities may, with such knowledge, give much that may be as the personality of an individual. We have the entity and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personalities of the present entity, 373. In entering, there are many phases of influences that would be of interest to this entity in the present, from the studies or reading along the varied lines of thought. Hence these may be taken from any of those angles or directions, were such chosen. As we find, those that may be the more helpful, applicable, and practical in the present experience, would be, we would direct, from the astrological sojourns, rather than from other inclinations, 
for these, as we find, deal more directly with the mental and material inclinations of an entity in most appearances in the earth. In entering the present experience, we find those influences that may be termed purely astrological being rather secondary, even in impulses, to those from environs through earth's experiences. Not that the sojourns on the planets have not had, and do not have in the present, their influence, but these may be termed rather as moods for this entity, save at a few particular conjunctions of planetary influences when these have had more to do even then, with the material aspects, as may be termed, than mental urges. As in 1889, 1898-1909, 1917-18-19. True, these periods had influences. In the first, rather as to relationships with individuals. In the second, or 98, with things and with individuals, while in 09, rather the relationships that were centralized, apparently, in efforts of the entity, yet were influences more of the astrological nature if looked at in the present, while those conditions in 17-18-19 dealt more particularly with material affairs. Then, as to those things that in the present experience have to do with urges that make for moods, as may be said, this does not indicate that the entity is one that may be called moody, or one of such eccentric nature, yet these are as impulses. In entering the present experience, we find that astrological sojourns as well as environmental influences in Earth's indwelling have their innate or direct influence upon the mental and material forces of the present entity. In the astrological, then, as the mental, or inclinations and impulses of the entity, we find Mercury as the ruling influence. Yes, we have the entity and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personality of the present entity, 384. In entering the present experience, we find, from the astrological aspects, much may be seen as to the mental development of the entity, and those influences of the mental nature that will be as innate experiences and inhibitions in the mental aspects of the entity's activity, as one may see, from those reactions, that to which, from the mental aspect, the entity would respond. Then, in these influences do we find the activity, irrespective of Will's influence in the Earth's plane. Jupiter is the greater ruling influence in the experience of the entity, while we find Saturn, as an adverse influence in Jupiter, active in the entity's experience. Yes, we have the entity here, and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personalities of the present entity, called 390. In entering the present experience, we find, as it were, compared with many, some unusual circumstances from the physical, surrounding the entity's entrance into the Earth's plane at this particular time. From the astrological influences, these also are somewhat unusual, out of the ordinary, the ruling influence being Saturn. That the entity entered into the Earth, rather than into some other environment that is not for material manifestations, is unusual. Hence, we find, in the entity's experience in the present, that there are many conditions in which it is necessary for the entity to make definite decisions, and such decisions have changed, and do at almost each period change, the whole material influence in the entity's experience. These have to do, or have had to do, with the home, the material associations of individuals, material relationships with the own home and with those that would accrue influence from the entity's association, as well as the entity's associations in the present. While these, as we find, have in the greater part been such, to the present, where the entity has developed in the soul and mental influences in the present, yet the conditions often seem as hardships to the entity materially, being in the position to meet influences, then, from the astrological standpoint, where determination and the use of will's influences are the most necessary factors in the material experience. We have the entity here, and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personalities of the present entity, 403. In entering the present experience from the astrological and sojourns, we find these as influences in the experience of the entity in the present. Yes, we have the entity and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personality of the entity now known as 405. In entering the present we find the entity coming under especially benevolent influences in a portion of the entity's present experience in the Earth's plane. While this will be shown the more influencing, as shall be seen, in the second cycle of Jupiter's influence, which begins in 1940, these are the influences from the astrological experiences irrespective of Will's influence in the manifestations in the Earth. These influences that are given first, then, are as the mental urges of the entity.
as to what the entity does about or with these urges, is as to whether they become the more active in the experience than those of the more material nature, that also enter in, in various aspects of the urges. Then, Jupiter being the ruling influence in the entity's experience from the astrological aspects, as the time of birth, as well as to the sojourn of the entity, we find these manifested in the nature or elements of the entity's environ. Yes, we have the entity and those relations with the universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personality of the entity, 406. In entering, we find from the astrological aspects the entity coming under the influence of Aries, Uranus, Jupiter, Neptune, and Venus. As to the astrological influences, then, that deal with the mental attributes of the entity and those relations with the activities of same in the present experience. Through Aries associations, there are the abilities of a high mental development, yet there are rather those warnings for this entity regarding accidents to the head. Injuries of some nature may come in the experience of the entity, either during the next four months or early portion of 34. These warnings are from influences that come from Aries or head associations with Mars. Hence, as to the greater astrological activities from sojourns and environs, Uranus is the greater influence for the present experience. In entering the present experience, from the astrological viewpoint little other than impulses are yet manifested in the personality, yet it will be seen that much will be developed from the sojourn of the entity or soul through the spheres of activity in this particular environ. As to the astrological, then, irrespective of the activities other than impulse, we find Mercury and Saturn as a ruling influence, with Jupiter and Venus as benevolent influences, with Mercury and Mars ruling later in the experience in the present sojourn. Hence we will find, with the development of the mental attributes of the body in the present experience, one of unusual personality, unusual individuality at times, with a high mental capacity, and the starting of many activities that will necessarily need directing, especially through the formative and changing years of the personality in the material sense of the entity. Hence, through the 12th, 13th, and 15th C 415 to 11 years of experience the activities of the body mentally will need to be directed and kept in those influences wherein the later experience may be ruled through the influences of Mercury rather than Mars, in the application of the mental abilities of the entity in the present experience. Yes, we have the entity and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personalities of the present entity, 416. The astrological aspects from the entrance into the present experience, we find, would only in part give the true personality and individuality of the entity, for, as has been and will be seen in the experience of the entity through the Earth's sojourn, much has been altered through the application of the will in respects to the activity of the entity during Earth's sojourns, respecting creative forces in the experience of the entity. Hence we will find some astrological influences in an at variance to the experiences in the present making for at times a confusion in the impulses and the material desires of the entity. From the astrological experiences, then, irrespective of Will's influence and with the application of Will's influence in the Earth's sojourn, we find. Yes, we have the entity here, and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personalities of the entity now known as 431. In entering the present experience we find the astrological influences such that are often contradictory to that which has been the experience of the entity. Hence it may be seen that there have been in the material or earthly appearances of the entity those periods when the activities of the entity have made for both developments and retardments. Hence from the astrological experiences there have come in the present experience of the entity those conditions which in the mental body have not only made for entanglements at times but those periods when there are in the experience distraughtness, anxiety, unrest. As we shall see from that which will be given, these have been produced in a material manifested manner in the present from the activities of the entity in astrological sojourn as well as appearances in the material plane. As to the astrological urge, we find Jupiter the greater ruling influence in the present experience. It would be well to comment upon the oldness of this soul, especially in its activities, as will be seen, in periods when the occult and mystic influences were manifested in the experience of the entity in the earth, and make for influences that have been, or may be made, very good or very bad in the experience of the entity. Hence, this is an old soul. In giving the personalities and the individuality of the entity in the present experience, we must approach same from the astrological, 
though these in the very fact of that given respecting its activities in the earth during such periods when such changes or activities were manifested in the material affairs of individuals, make for little that may be compulsory in astrological influence. Yet impulses arise from these influences. As in passing from Pisces into Aries, there are those influences innately and manifested in the mental forces of the body, much of both of these, and they become conflicting in the experience at times of the entity. Pisces brings rather the mystery and creative forces, and magnanimous aspects in students of, or in the thought of, influences in the active principles of individual impulse, with Aries bringing reason, or air, or airy actions, yet reason, more than Pisces would make the demands in the self at time for reasons for every manifestation, whether material conditions, mental or spiritual conditions in the experience of the entity. And at other periods it may be said that the entity becomes rather susceptible to influences about the body, without considering seriously the sources of the information and as to whether same is able to be verified by others or not. Feelings of same impress the entity from this astrological influence, which, as we see, does not only control Earth's sojourn but the position of the entity in this sojourn through the planetary influences in the Earth's solar system. As to the sojourns in the astrological influences then, we find these are the ruling, not from their position at the birth, but rather from the position of the entity's activities in that environ. Yes, we have the entity and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personality of the present entity, known as 438. In entering this present experience, from the astrological aspects we find many conditions as personalities and as latent abilities in the entity that would be contrarywise to those from the purely astrological chart, yet many impulses at times are in accord with that which has been attributed to the astrological viewpoints. Yet, as we find, the sojourns in the activities of environs through those periods of absence from the earth, and that the entity has accomplished in the earth's experience, make for changes. Yet these as astrological aspects may be given in the present experience, and will show tendencies in the activities at times in the present entity, these influences being active from astrological sojourn. In giving the influences in the experiences of the entity from the astrological aspects and from the appearances in the earth, we find these conflicting at times, yet there are innate in the experience of the entity, that come oft in the rumblings of the mental attributes of the body, those influences that deal with the mental forces that come from sojourns in an astrological environment. These, as we find, should grow, should be magnified, for there would be, with the applications of the mental self respecting influences in the sojourns that come through Jupiter, Uranus, Venus, and Neptune, experiences that may become the most helpful influence in the entities finding self's relationships with the universal forces and the relationships with the individuals through whom, with whom, the entity may aid in making for self an experience that becomes more and more worthwhile. Then, that these vary from some lines that have been given respecting astrological aspects in an individual experience, these that come with the numerological aspects, as from 22, with the birth year in the present experience, may be found to mean a great deal yet is only an aspect, and rather that influence coming through the sojourns in Uranus and Neptune that should be measured with that which may be experienced in the practical things of life as the influences rather than that which is more of the visionary or accrediting to numbers or astrological influences, other than that which may be controlled by the activity of the will. For, the will is that given into the keeping of each soul, through the offices of the all-wise influence, in making for individual activity that knowledge of the relationships of self to the creative influence in an entity's experience. So, the astrological sojourns are rather as intuitional influences felt when in meditation or distress in mind, that brings the harking of a something that may be found through the application of self respecting the knowledge self has concerning the creative forces in a material world. Yes, we have the entity and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personalities of the entity now known as 440. As to the entrance in the present experience from the astrological aspects, as we have noted, this is the cycle when many of unusual abilities, both for good and bad, have entered the environs of the earth, particularly during 1910, 1911. Then, we find the astrological aspects may be altered materially by the entity's activities in the present experience, as they have been by the entity in other experiences in the earth. However, such influences are as urges, and, with the application of the will of each soul, may be turned into that which is to be constructive or destructive in their experience. The paramount influences in many ways, then, we find from Mercury. In giving that which may be helpful to the entity in the present, 
from the various sources from which such may be drawn, the entity may know that the title is written clear. November 15, 33 C 443 to 1, PAR 39 A and re meaning of a title being written clear. The astrological aspects would vary considerably from that outlined from the position of the planets at the time of birth, or from the causes of the influences that are active in the earth. For, these vary as we find, because of the sojourn of the entity in the environs to which the entity merited or chose its activity from an earthly sojourn. For, as long as an entity is within the confines of that term the earths and the suns of the earth's solar system, the developments are within the sojourns of the entity from sphere to sphere, and when completed it begins, throughout the music of the spheres with Arcturus, Polaris, and through those sojourns in the outer sphere. As to the activities of this entity, 441, from the indwellings in this sojourn from other spheres. First, the greater influence is from Venus, with Mercury, making for a peculiar type of reaction in many of the mental influences in the astrological aspects of an entity. Yes, we have the entity and those relations with the universe and the universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personality of the present entity, 442. In giving that which is impelling and yet helpful in the experiences of the entity in the present, as has been experienced by the entity, the application of will has caused many changes in the present experience, both through those things pertaining to material affairs and those things pertaining to mental and spiritual affairs. Hence, soul development is in the application of will in the light of that which is felt within self respecting the creative influences in the experience, as in defiance of, or in conjunction with, the desires of the body. Hence we find there has been in the experience of the entity an alteration from that which would be given wholly or solely from the activities that would appear impelling from astrological influences. Hence a purely astrological chart of the entity's life would mean or represent comparatively little of a constructive nature in the entity's present life. Yet the sojourns in the varied environs of the entity will give a background for the entity of the impelling influences that have been in the present experience, and through which those influences in the mental may aid in further development of the entity in the present experience. Yes, we have the entity and those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personalities of the present entity. As to the activities and the experiences of the entity from the purely astrological entrance into the earth's plane, these make for only inclinations, while those apparent from the sojourn of the entity in the various appearances in the earth, and from the mental influences or soul development in planetary sojourns, make for rather impulse to the inclinations that may be manifested in the present experience of the entity. Then, as to the planetary sojourns that make for the impulses. In giving that which may be helpful to the entity in the present, the approach to the astrological influences would be from the sojourns rather than the position of the planets or the elements in same. 4. The sojourns make for innate influences, while the Earth's appearances make for the greater urge within the present mental forces of the entity. In this entity, 444, we find rather unusual developments in the astrological influences, for these are rather as two urges in the inner being of the entity, or are rather in pairs. So, there will be seen in the present experience that there are periods when there have often been halting opinions or urges leading in separate directions at or during the same period of activity in the physical experience of the entity. Yes, we have those relations with the universe and universal forces, that are latent and manifested in the personalities of the present entity, 445. In giving that which we find may be helpful in the entity's experience in the present. We may approach this both from the astrological and the numerological influences that have been and are in the experience of the entity. For, from each of these manners of approach may there be seen periods of influence in the activities of the entity, mental, physical or material, and spiritual, in the present experience. While, the sojourns in planetary influences make for urges, the divisions of the activity in the Earth's plane specifically in three periods of definite change, definite activity, are seen from the astrological as related to the numerological aspects in the experience. As to the astrological, we find Jupiter the ruling influence in the greater portion of the urges in the activities, with Mercury complementary or in a sojourn between Earth's activities. Hence we find these as urges. The aspirations in many respects at some period or another in the experience been gratified to a greater or lesser degree, at least in a sufficient manner for the entity to know by introspection that which has been purposefully desired in the activities has had the opportunity for the action in such relationships.
in entering the present experience, and in making manifest in self that which may cause the greater soul development in the present experience of the entity, rather would we in the first give some warnings as to the physical body and those impending influences in the activity of same. Not only from the astrological aspects that are manifested in the experiences of this entity, 453, but as to those things that have been builded in the experience of the entity in its sojourns, that it may the more perfectly manifest in a more healthy, in a stronger mental and spiritual environment. 4. The body physical is the temple of the soul in the material world. Hence the better that the body presents that which is the more perfect in its relationships to that which is the active force in the mental, in the soul and the spiritual body, the greater may the soul develop in the better environment.